This is why the NFL is king. Because even during the offseason, the NFL never stops pumping out nuggets for all of us to turn into content. The latest episode of the How the Dolphins Quarterback Situation Turns features current Heisman winner, Devonda Smith, allegedly telling a team at the Senior Bowl who he preferred between Tua Tungavailoa and Mac Jones. According to Albert Breer of Sports Illustrated, the most interesting anecdote I could possibly give you on him from that week in Mobile comes from his Heisman Trophy winning receiver Devona Smith. One team asks Smith, point blank, to a tongue of Iloa or Jones. The question was barely finished before Smith answered, Mac Jones. Albert Breer is excellent in his coverage. So, I have no doubt that this is true. Honestly, why should this matter if you're a Dolphin fan? Do you really think the Dolphins are going to draft Mac Jones? Or this piece of information is a real decider on if the Dolphins should have drafted Tua? Who, who gives a rip if Devona Smith preferred Mac Jones over Tua? I think I would say the quarterback who helped get the ball to me, thus being a huge part of why I won the Heisman, which is going to lead to me being a top 6 pick instead of a mid-round or later pick, is the right play here. Yeah, it's a pretty easy choice that Smith chose Mac Jones over Tua if you think about it for a few seconds. You can also, just about, write it in permanent marker that Stone Cold Brian Flores, Chris Greer, and the rest of the brass in Miami collectively did this when they heard this story. Yes, I think they heard of this story today. Now let's just throw it out there. I can't 100% definitively say without a shadow of a doubt that the Dolphins management doesn't care in the slightest. I'm a video maker from my room. But using superior context clues, I think we can come to the conclusion that Flores and the gang barely blinked when they heard this. Those precious context clues are Flores and company having me having made bold moves, moves that only a select few in the sport have ever had the stones to do, and they've only been doing this for two. Brian Flores and Chris Greer were silent. And they have repeated many times and are not afraid to publicly support Tua, and confirmed that he is the starting quarterback of Dolphins in 2021. That is nothing more than a slap in the face of those demanding drafting a QB. This is only Tua in Dolphins. Smith's words could endanger himself. Simply, Smith is the target of Dolphins in the third pick. If Coach Flores has a harsh look at Smith, he will lose his chance to wear the Dolphins' great shirt. The draft is a passport for Smith to the 2022 Super Bowl championship. And with a promising young squad, a rock head coach, there would be no other place but the Dolphins that Smith could play. Don't forget, when you move on to a team that's too big, you'll be just a shadow of the big stars. Beware of your words, Smith. With those ever-important context clues laid out for you, do you think Stone Cold Brian Flores, who was ready to destroy the, enti destroy the entire Bengals football team, is going to start thinking any different because one of Tua's teammate in college said he'd prefer the quarterback that took him to another level? I'm going to go out on that extremely sturdy limb and say no. Flores thinks the same now as he did yesterday. This story will have zero barring on if the Dolphins decide to draft Smith at number 3 or not. I'm pretty sure his film, how he fits in their offense, and how he does in their own personal interviews, interviewers that I'm sure they had with him at the Senior Bowl, will matter much more than this anecdote. Call me nuts for thinking that if you'd like. I would have to imagine the recently Jack Tua doesn't even care that Smith would say this. Again, Mac Jones is a huge reason why Smith is regarded the way he is. A reasonable person, as I think Tua is, understands how the game is played. This is only the beginning of leaked interview questions to get out, 